Okay, so um, we are going to create the thread of the screw, and the simple way is you can using a helix to create um, a rail and a cross sections to do that. And we also need to using a swap nerves. Swap nerves is quite useful in this case because uh, it support that you can using a real stride and a cross sections to create a swap nerve surface. So it's better than using all the polygon tools because it's quick and more easily. So first create a helix curve or helix spline. By the way, is follow the CSS. We need to change the orientation by using the plane options. So you can select different plane. Okay, in this case, we're using XC plane. This is perfectly okay to fit our screw body. The first thing you need is to reduce the radius. Here, let's have two radius. When you start radius and end radius, I change it to 10 meter. Um, and radius 10 meter. So you can see that um, it fit the body uh, radius. Move it a little bit downward until you see fit. Okay, so you, you need to focus uh, for better way you can switch the front wheel. Um, you move the start point uh, to where you want the headed start and end points here. And you also can increase the height of the headers if you want to extend a little bit higher and the start point you fix. Okay, so this is the perfect curve that um, for threads. And um, you also need to change or reduce the start uh, radius because um, the um, bottom is a little bit narrow so you need to reduce the radius a little bit and then um, you create the cross section I'm using a four size okay four size is um, is good for it for the thread because um, you can see the, the, the triangles um, setting so reduce the scale and um, here I reduce to um, 10 and five meter so you can see a, a diamond shape that um, fit the cross sections all right so next start it create a new swept nerves swept nerves and you drag the two spline the helix and the four sides into it so you can see this is the um, initial shape of the um, Headless and the four sides combined to create the swept nerves. But um, some of the areas, um, especially in some of the um, here, you can see a choice. So if you want to fix it, select the swept nerves under attributes, remember to uncheck the banking. Okay, after you uncheck the banking, the cross section will follow the wheel and uh, you don't see any um, choice in between. And um, the next is you, you um, increase the rotation of the threads and also so you can adjust the radius if you see some of the um, not good result you can just change it. So I just increase the end angles. Okay, after you increase the end angles you can see I have more rotation in between. Okay, the height is fixed, but the rotation increased by you just increased the end angle. And um, after you increase the end angle, you can see that sometimes the beginning or the start point sometimes is too thick, or you can adjust the radius after you increase the um, angles. And also, so you can use the radial bias. Okay, if you find the um, transition between the start and end is not good, you can use the radial bias options um, to get more um, cross section in between so here is the basic um, shape of the uh, screw and threads and next I want to create the um, cross on the top so I need to using a curve and using extrude objects and using bowling to um, subtract the extrude objects. Open an EPS file that you draw. You can using an Illustrator or other software to draw the curve. But um, I'm using Illustrator to draw a EPS file. So this EPS file is just a spline. Okay, if you open directly in Cinema 40, you can see it's a spline. And uh, sometimes the orientation is not in the center, so you can adjust the coordinate 
to using off zero. Okay, let's move it in the center. And you sometimes you need to rotate it if you want it to um, fit which plane you can rotate 90 degree. Okay, let's just ro rotate 90 degree. Okay, it's now aligned on the XC plane. Okay, copy it. Control C, copy. Go back to the file. Screw the file. And Control V to paste it. All right. So now um, the spline is a little bigger, so I reduce the size. Um, go to top wheel is better to see in the top wheel because you can see the top and the spline at the same time. Reduce it, okay, until you give some space between some, um, the cap segments and the spline. Okay, so don't overlap the point because after you subtract, you, sub you will got some abnormal result. So here I just reduce it and I say fit and I do an extrude. Okay, after extrude, you can see that by default, you extrude the CSS. I don't want to extrude the CSS because I want to extrude upward. So, select the extrude objects, change the movements to give zero for the C, and uh, give some um, setting maybe 20 meter for the Y axis. So, you can see it will extrude along the Y axis. So, here is the objects I want to use. Um, to be subtracted by the um, screw polygon. So move the extrude objects upward until um, it's about um, halfway, okay? Um, but um, you can see that um, before I just increase a little bit about subdivisions to mix more polygon surface in between. So move it upward, okay, just move it upward. And um, until the placement is around, um, overlap um, half of the um, torque of the screw and it's ready to subtract okay so add a uh, boolean okay boolean objects and thread the two uh, polygon of the screw and the extrude as the child. Okay, so you can see it after but before it's subtracted and you got the basic shape. Okay, so um, you you may need to do some um, tweet um, of the shape if you want more smooth or sometimes um, you want to add more of threads. Um, but now currently it's not perfectly okay. So I do a test render and this is what I want to have you enjoy the tutorial. Bye bye.